Good morning. It's another Saturday. Uh, I'm going to get to work on the truck. It's a little bit before noon, I think. Uh, I got a bit of a late start. I got some supplies to make some new crates for the two rear windows. I've got one crate assembled, disassembled because I wound up putting it in the red truck. Uh, luckily, I kept the crates, so I just need to make tops for each one of them and standoffs. So I've got the plywood and everything, and I'll probably do that maybe tomorrow. So those will be ready for when I pull the glass out of the green truck. Uh, but today's project is going to be getting the brake booster out, uh, the whole brake system. I've got to basically drain it and uh, disconnect it and then try to pull it all out in one piece. So what follows here is a lot of me messing with the different bolts and nuts on the front of the master cylinder and uh, slave cylinder assembly. A lot of back and forth trying to figure out what was hooked up to what, where it went. And then I had a couple of bolts that did not want to come out, so I had to put some flame on them. Here I'm disconnecting the last of the hydraulic hoses. This is from the clutch assembly. That actually came off pretty easily and without a fight after I had done a couple of cycles of heat and juice and heat and juice. Uh, once that came out, I went back to the main assembly and basically just worked on getting that thing loose, figuring out from the jigsaw puzzle what had to come out when and, and how and where. I think it was at this point that I found myself actually sitting on the engine trying to get to these bolts in the very back there. And then I realized, wait a minute, I could be doing this a lot easier. So I did what any normal person would do and started unscrewing the bolts on the hood so I could take it off and basically get it up and out of my way. Not exactly the easiest thing to do when you're flying solo, but I got it unscrewed, laid it down on the hood and lifted it off and set it aside by myself. This one's a lot heavier than the one on the red bus because it's got that insulation all tucked up underneath. Why did they do that? What was that supposed to be for? I don't, still don't understand why they put insulation on the hoods of cars, but what do I know? I'm not an engineer. So here I did what anybody with ADHD would do and went to something else. I started fooling with the emergency brake. I've got the clutch pedal disconnected. I've got the brake disconnected, but I've still got to find, figure out how to get the uh, connection there done. Um, and I've got the emergency brake switch disconnected. Clutch cylinder is out. The hinge is off. And right now I'm pulling this cotter pin out to release the, the lever here so I can pull this whole unit off. This plate will come off and then I'll put as much of this back together as I can so that I know where everything goes and where everything is supposed to belong. Um, but with that, the, the brake master cylinder will be out of this thing. So cross the fingers for me. The entire brake booster and clutch cylinder assembly is out. So now I can basically get down to this and start pulling the drive shaft out of this thing and pulling the uh, power steering unit out. Um, we're looking pretty good. I think I'm also going to pull this carb off. I'm going to look and see if this carb is the same as mine. I'll probably pull that off and I'll make a plug and just plug the, the uh, top of the um, engine here. And next, that's a lot of the, the engine stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, I've got to get the uh, washing unit out of here too. And I've got to, I'm going to take pictures of each of the bolt head connectors so I know what's what and where it goes. All right, so here's the carb. This does not look good. Somebody got into the insulation that was up um, on the top part of the hood and looks like they were making a nest in this thing. Um, it's a single barrel holly. looks like it's the same one that's on mine. So I'm going to keep it and clean it and that'll be one of my backups. Uh, but yeah, it definitely needs a good hot soak. All right, I've given it the college try. I was able to get one of these open. Um, I'm just going to mark where they go. I've drained out you know, what's in there and I'm just going to use a cutoff wheel and cut them off because I don't have time to sit here for the rest of the afternoon fooling with this. So um, the rest of this is 
come out pretty good. I got the skirt out there. Uh, next, I'm going to hit these three bolts here, which are the mounting bolts, and see if I can get those off. And um, we'll figure out how we get the collar. The collar comes off, and then get the uh, we'll get the collar off, and then we will get the steering column off. I figured I'd fool with something else, and I took the power steering reservoir off, which came off pretty easily. It's just three bolts, uh, and I had already disconnected the hoses, so basically that was just a lift out and go kind of thing. I set that aside and let the rest of the fluid drain out in the garage. So I've already taken a bunch of these screws out of the dashboard here in preparation for this, but I know I'm, I'm missing probably about 20 more. There it goes. Okay. So there's the original uh, glove box. It's the original shift pattern for the knob. It went right there back in the day. So I'll save that. Get a wrench. I'm actually going to put my toolbox there. It's actually nice and warm in the truck, which is a nice change from being outside and freezing my ass off this whole time. I'm trying to keep this looking at least halfway respectable, so whenever I'm not working on the engine, I try to keep the fenders and the hood on the truck, just so that passersby don't think it's abandoned. There we go. Throughout this whole thing, I'm trying to save all my hardware. I'm not going to reuse it. I at least want to know what it is so I can replace it without having to go back and forth to the store a gazillion times. So now it's not connected to the bracket here. So in the Scout, there is a, there's like a bar that goes across the underside here. I don't feel that here. I, I see a bunch of screws, which I think are just brackets for holding stuff in. Like there's a bundle of wires behind right here and, and that attaches to this screw. Uh, but I don't know what else is behind there. Let me see. Get down underneath here and see what else could be attached to. Oops. Save that. You might need it. Random round. Something I'm going to do if I'm back at her tomorrow is I have to get plywood and lay it down there and I'm going to get another piece of plywood and cut it so that I can just lay on it and it's easier on my neck and my back because this is painful man. Good morning this is Sunday now and ordinarily you'd be listening to me talk from the actual driveway but I'm working on some kinks with some new equipment, and I didn't like the sound that came off the camera here, so I'm just re-recording this. I'm just basically giving a rundown of what I'm hoping to get done for the day, which is basically build some crates, keep working on the dashboard, and get some other stuff off the truck. The first thing I did for the day was build two new crates for the rear glass that I'm going to be pulling out of the green truck. This is basically following a template that I built for the one sheet of glass that I got at Super Scouts last year. Um, stored it in my garage and then I had a glass guy put it in. It worked really well, so I'm just going to make two. So here I'm continuing work on the dashboard. This is a sped up time lapse. This went on for a long time, just trying to figure out how this thing was connected, how it was all set up. There were a couple of high spots. I got the glove compartment out and I got the radio out, which was great. So I put that aside and just kept plugging away at this thing. Afternoon update. Uh, I've got the radio out. I've got the panel off. I actually disconnected the speedo. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell this side of the dashboard is hooked up to. I still cannot figure it out. feels like there's something down here that it's connected to. I've got to stick my head under there again and figure it out. I've actually loosened the steering wheel and I've got to figure out up front. I've got to read my 
service manual will figure out what that is connected to. But I'm just I'm just trying to figure out what I have to loosen now. All the bolts across the top are loosened. The defrost vents are out, which is good. Um, I've taken out as much as I can to sort of see what's in here. And uh, I'm just diagnosing what needs to come out next. So continuing work just took a long time. This is when I figured out where the secret key to this whole thing was. It was basically the two bolts that hold up the clutch pedal assembly and the steering column. And once I had figured that out, I was able to get the whole thing off. I had to start chasing down wires. All right, update. This thing is ready to come off. So now I've got to go through to the inside. Um, I'm going to take pictures of all of the bulkhead connectors, where they are on the firewall, disconnect them, and then hopefully I will get all of the wiring and the dashboard off in one piece, and then we can move it out of here. So yeah, that was, that was a challenge, but I got it. And what followed, shown in condensed form here, was a lot of getting in the truck, getting out of the truck, unhooking wires, unhooking cables, and then finally being able to lift the thing out. I think I've got most things labeled so I can put things back together where they were. All of the bulkhead connectors came out clean. Um, I think the only thing that I had to really sort of jimmy with was the connector from the steering wheel. The steering wheel will come out next. I'm going to take that and the entire assembly, which is actually also the clutch pedals and everything. That's all coming with me. Um, let me zoom in here really quick just for yet another view of the carnage and destruction down here. You can really see now what we're dealing with underneath there. Um, just really, really bad, this whole thing. The rest of it looks okay. I mean, there's a little bit of stuff up there, but the driver's side, now that we can actually see, um, doesn't look so hot either. The bottom barrel of this side is actually in better shape than the other side. Uh, I have no idea what the, you know, the, the top part looks like. From the video that I shot, it's not very clean, but this doesn't look so bad. Um, yeah, they were both leaking a fair bit. So that's what we have. Uh, I got a bunch of other parts I've got to take off. I'm going to take this assembly out. This is coming with me. Um, this whole box, like I said, I've got all the screws out of the, um, the shift column here, and I've got to get the um, emergency brake. I've got to figure out how to get that connector off. I can get to that once I get this part off. And uh, then we will be almost done with the interior of the cab. Oh, I got to take the speaker too while I'm at it. So the pedal assembly mount is out. It actually came out very easy. It was just those two bolts there. There were a bunch of uh, studs in the front. The whole assembly just basically lifted out and I had to lift it over the column here. Um, so that is done. Next will be steering wheel probably tomorrow and then I'll get the emergency brake out and anything that's remaining up here. This is Monday morning. It's day three, I've got the day off, and so I'm gonna keep working. It's gonna be about 70 degrees. Today is eclipse day, so that's kinda of cool. Um, I'll probably work up until maybe noon or so, and then I gotta run some errands and I'll get ready for the eclipse. But uh, today's big thing is I'm gonna get the steering gear out of the truck and uh, start pulling out some of the interior furnishings and then we'll see how that goes. I've been working with all of my different camera systems and mics and everything to try to get some sort of a setup that I can use to keep doing these videos. Um, this is the latest. I've got this um, handheld mic here. I'm gonna eventually get a lav mic for it and some other stuff. Try to up the game because I haven't been really happy with the stuff I've been doing. I shot a whole bunch of stuff with a head-mounted GoPro the other day and basically um, three quarters of it wasn't usable because it wasn't actually looking at what I was doing, which is super annoying. But I'm gonna try that again today as I get the steering gear out. We'll give that a shot and we will see how it goes. As I mentioned before, the hood on this truck is pretty heavy and it's not fun to take off by yourself, but I'm really trying to be a good citizen here. It actually also might be in better shape than the one that's on the red truck. The red truck has some rust down around the hinges. Um, I haven't really gotten inside there to look and see what's going on. This one doesn't have that. 
And I have to admit, I really like this green color on this truck. I wish my truck was this green color with the nice patina that this one has. Um, I really like the red too, but this green is it's just a beautiful color. So here I'm taking off the outer fender so I can get to the four bolts on the front of the power steering pump. Just trying to figure out how this thing is connected. It took a little bit of time to get these bolts off, but it wasn't too bad. The service manual that I've got only has one section for the steering column itself. And that steering column is for a D-series truck from what I can tell. It's the three-spoke wheel. It's the newer collapsible column. I don't think this thing was set up with a collapsible column and the steering wheel is definitely different. None of it matches and none of it is connected to a power steering pump in that book. So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to get this thing apart. Um, clearly I've got to get the column off of the pump. Uh, so I think I'm probably gonna have to break the pump down and pull it out and then take the pump off separately because there's no way I can fit that thing through the hole in the firewall. And I spent some time on the red truck looking at the manual steering here, trying to see if it was the same. It's the same column uh, and the box, the way that it enters the box, it looks similar, but it's not. So while I was thinking about that, I figured I'd move over to something a little bit easier to accomplish and started fooling with the windshield wipers. Pulled the bolts off of the firewall for that, got the plate off, then put everything back together on the bench. So it's all in one piece. It's pretty cool. International part number, and there's actually, you can see the number there. Um, original part, that's really neat. While I was thinking over next steps for the steering column, I figured I'd pull off the power steering bracket here for the reservoir. I just put a bolt on the crank here just to see if I could make this thing move and I'm not getting anything. This is this is stuck. As I figured, I mean I, I can't move the um, fan blade at all. This is stuck solid. You know that could just be the fan assembly but um, the crank is not moving at all. So so I started working on some other stuff, checked out the distributor, uh, continued trying to get the door strikers off the doors with an impact hammer that was moderately successful. And then I started working on the rear heating unit. Here's one piece. There's a giant blower motor. So I'm looking at the heater in the rear tail well and I just open up the side panel here. There's a giant blower motor underneath there. I have no idea what else is under there. Probably, yeah, this is probably some sort of a uh, ductwork situation. This section doesn't feel like it wants to come out. I think it's all connected to this. So I've got to figure out underneath what this is connected to, probably disconnect it down there, and then I can probably pull this section out of one piece. Um, and then I got the grate out from this side, that was in there. Uh, yeah, I can see a hose going down through there. So I'm gonna vacuum this out. I'll get underneath and see what I can see underneath there and then uh, try to take this whole unit out as one piece. All right, so I'm taking a break in the afternoon. It's uh, almost two o'clock. I've got a break and pick up my daughter from school. Um, I feel like I've just gone all around and around and around the truck and I haven't really made a ton of progress. A lot of stuff is soaking. I'm cutting bolts off of the rear bumper. I'm trying to get the heating unit out of the back. Uh, I can't get the steering wheel off. I've got to ask some experts on how to do that. Um, just pulling lots of small stuff off, but I don't feel like I've made a ton of progress. So I'm a little frustrated right now. To save you from boredom, I've chopped out about two hours of dealing with this stupid bumper and cutting bolts and finagling, all sorts of stuff, because everything here was just rusted to hell. You get to see the good stuff, which is where it came up and off the truck. Overall, it's in pretty good shape. The chrome on the bottom is a little pitted, 
and the reverse lights need some love and attention, but overall, it'll look really good on my truck eventually. Afternoon update. Um, I just was able to figure out why this thing was not coming out. There was a bit of goo, something that was like, it was like almost glued to the side of the wheel well here. Um, I am now gonna diagnose how to get these hoses off. These are the inlet hoses from the um, coolant. I'll get these off. There's one here, there's one on the other side. And then this whole unit will basically come out and I can see what's underneath here, but it'd be nice to have this thing out of here. Looks like there's a fair bit of rust on the underside of this thing. This whole unit here, some rust. I think where there was probably like sitting water in the bottom of the um, wheel well. You can see there's just all kinds of debris and crap in there and clearly evidence of some water. It's rusty and everything. The other interesting thing is that there's two patches that are welded on this thing. Um, where this came from, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Is this a homebrew deal? I have no idea. I mean, these welds don't look all that professional. So maybe this was something that was cobbled up at, you know, in the international factory. I, I really don't know. I am curious. I'm going to see if I can hook up uh, power to this fan and see if this fan works. And then, um, you know, at some point in the future, I will try to take this thing apart and see what makes the tick. It looks like it's held together with some, um, some sort of, uh, adhesive or something here we'll see but that's pretty interesting i'm wrapping up for the evening on monday and made some good progress i guess the bumper is off that was a major fight the there's a lot of small stuff that i got off of the truck um it didn't feel like i got a whole ton of like major progress done uh, I still have not been able to get the steering column out. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. Hopefully I can get some answers online. One other thing I did was clean the two sun visors that came out of the green truck and put them in the red truck. And for some strange reason, that makes me very happy. Don't ask me why. I took the molding off of the outside of the back window here. I've got all that saved and the hardware there. One thing I'm going to do is... I'm actually gonna go get some spot weld bits and I'm gonna drill out the spot welds on this panel, this panel that goes across, because in my truck, it's completely butchered. Somebody drilled like nine holes in this thing all across, it looks terrible because they wanted to put in trailer lights. Um, it just looks terrible. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna try to save this actual piece of sheet metal. Uh, so I'm gonna pull that out tomorrow. I'm gonna to go and get more spot weld bits because all mine are dead. Here you can see the rear bumper is now off the truck and I had to basically cut the supports that hold the bumper on. I basically had to, to there's bolts that go on the, across the top here and then there's ones that go on the, the back side here. I basically took the, the ones on the top off. I had to grind those out because all of this was just rusted to hell. So where I stand with the steering column is that this collar, the bolts on that are off. The four bolts that go from the steering column into the pump are off. But these two do not want to separate. And I don't know if I'm supposed to make like a mighty yank on this to get it out or if there's something else that I've got to do with the pump to get this to release. Does it release in this section here? Or does this whole thing come out as a group? I would assume that that's what's going on here. So I've got to ask the heads on the binder planet to find out uh, what I need to do next. This has actually been disconnected. Those three bolts are undone. I got the castle nut off of that part of the, the tie rod there, but I can't budge that big one there. So I'm sort of at a standstill with the power steering pump. If I have to leave the power steering pump in here, I'll do that. I'm not gonna cry too much. I've got the, the actual uh, reservoir and stuff here. Um, but I'd really, I really want this steering column and everything that goes with it. So I've got to find out what to do there. Good morning. It's now Tuesday. I think it's April 10, no 9th. Coming back out here to work on the trucks again. Um, I've got some spot welding bits for the piece I talked about yesterday. 
I'm going to continue with the steering box. I think I might have some advice on how to get that out. And basically just pulling off the rest of what I can pull off. Um, it's getting down to the end, I think. There's not a ton more that I can do. There's some bits off the engine that can still come out. I might pull the distributor, a couple of other things. Um, but we're getting close. So uh, that's what we have going on today. It's going to be like 80 degrees outside and sunny. It's just a beautiful day to be out here. So I'm going to take advantage of every minute of it. All things considered, this part of the job was really cut and dry. I had a lot of practice when I cut out all the spot welds on the cowl on the red bus last year. So just it was a matter of being careful drilling, you know, getting the spot weld bit in the right place and finding any of the hidden spot welds that I had missed. But once I finally figured out where they were, it came out super easy. So about a half an hour with the spot weld and this piece is now off. There's what the back of it looks like. So this is on my truck and I'll walk over there in a minute. On my truck, this is all chewed to hell. Um, so what I really wanted was I wanted to get this piece out so that I can replace mine as a single unit and not have to patch it up. So I'm really happy about this. So here's the inside of my truck. You can see this is all chewed to heck. Um, they just, you know, went at it with a, a bunch of drills or whatever and just really messed it up. Interesting thing with this new one is that it's actually bigger than mine. So I may have to cut it down or do something. What it basically will do is it'll cover up all of that stuff there. So it's not exactly a one-to-one, -one, but I can use it as a template, which is great. So I got some advice from friends on the Binder Planet about how to take this thing apart to get my steering column out. And I tried to follow the directions as best I could. Uh, this thing was a bit confusing on how to get it off, but once I finally figured out what the secret magic sauce was, this is what faced me, uh, still wasn't able to get it to disconnect. But I think now I understand the instructions a lot better. Okay, so it's about 2.30 on Tuesday. Um, I'm running out of gas. I've been going hard for like four days, three and a half days, I guess, technically. And I've kind of run out of gas. It's kind of hot. Um, I'm going to take it easy for the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to take the parts, sort of inventory what I've got. Um, I'm cleaning some stuff off over on the side there with some um, oven cleaner, just getting all of the grease off and everything. Still have not been able to get the steering column off. It might be that I've got to do that once I get the entire front clip taken off before I have this thing uh, hauled away. I've got some calls in to some folks who might be interested. We'll see if they are. If they are interested in the Hulk, um, I'm going to leave it mostly as is. But one of the things that I'm considering doing is uh, cutting out some of the driver's side wheel well because on mine it's bad and on this green truck it's actually good and uh, I could use that sheet metal. There might be some other parts, small parts that I can cut out, but um, if this thing is just going to get scrapped, I'm just going to haul it away, then I'm going to cut out as much as I can. Um, so I'll do an inventory now, see what I've got. Uh, some things I pulled today, I finally got the windshield wipers off. I pulled the distributor, I got some more bracketry out of the, um, out of the engine bay. Um, just small stuff, it, it really was sort of a slow going today. Um, I did loosen up all the bolts on the doors, so they should be ready to pull whenever that comes time. And uh, yeah, it's just basically making things ready for when it gets all the way. If you've made it this far in the video, you're probably still pretty interested in travel walls. To keep this thing going, I've got a storefront up at threadless.com. There are all sorts of designs there, travel walls, travelettes, scouts. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching.